feet are probably the most neglected area of all the bones and joints in our bodies. Even though everywhere you look, they are constantly at work. But are they working normally, in optimal health and with great efficiency, or are they just working harder and breaking down as time goes on? Feet are complex, with 26 bones, 33 joints, and many ligaments and muscles. Though researchers struggle to obtain comprehensive and accurate data on foot motion, the main functional elements are well understood. Feet function in two main but opposite states. One is soft and adaptive. During pronation, the foot adapts to uneven terrain by loosening its structure and yielding to the shape of the surface. This was probably an important function a long time ago when we walked barefoot on the ground. Now we only need a small amount of pronation to function in shoes and on flat hard surfaces. The second state is more rigid, also known as supination. The foot must regain a firm, functional arch to become an efficiently rigid mechanical lever for forward progression. Both of these states are determined by the height of the main arch of the foot. A flattened arch with pronation gives adaptation or a loosening of foot structure. A raised arch with supination gives the foot rigidity and stability. Most people have too much pronation and flexibility, some in childhood and some as they age. This is what one would expect considering the combined effects of gravity, increasing body weight, sedentary living, and the concrete floors of modern life. The ligaments under the arch become overstretched and slack. The muscles are either too weak or develop overuse conditions such as tendonitis. Over time, the arches just keep flattening closer and closer to the ground. And the lower they go, the less likely they are coming back up. Just as you might expect, things fall down, not up. A foot with too much pronation and arch flattening must compensate for the lack of a good arch in a number of different ways. One thing all these ways have in common, however, is that they all lead to deformity, pain, or both. You might have heard that a bunion comes from wearing tight, pointed shoes, but the truth is it comes from a fallen arch. So the question facing most foot health specialists when evaluating their customers' problem feet is, what is the best way to bring the arch back and regain healthy foot function, since normal function is the key to pain-free bone and joint health? And how do we prevent all the surgery that becomes necessary at some point if we do nothing? Most foot health specialists recommend a good, functional biomechanical arch support for help. But the many different kinds of supports and their various claims of results can be very confusing. Many specialists have also been discouraged by the lack of results achieved for their customers. If we look at the supports of the past versus the new technology available today, though, we can see why foot health specialists are now enthusiastic about using supports to avoid the full range of foot, knee, hip, and low back problems that come from flattened arches. What most people do not realize is that the vast majority of devices sold as arch supports or insoles are stock items stamped out of a mold. They have no resemblance to the unique three-dimensional shape of your feet. But just look at 10 people standing barefoot and you will see 10 different sizes and foot shapes. All feet are different. Therefore, the support needs to match those differences. Most importantly, a different arch height and three-dimensional shape for each foot is needed in order to get the right amount of correction that can make your feet function normally. The reality is that a truly custom support costs a lot more to produce. First, your specialist must perform a skilled casting of your foot. This requires advanced training and experience. Many providers might have you simply walk across a pressure plate instead of taking a detailed cast. But there is no way that walking across a plate can give the critical three-dimensional details one can get from a good cast. The pressure plates are popular, though, 
because the provider requires no skill or training and the customer likes the colored footprint display it makes on the computer. Companies that make supports love it too because they can just stamp out another non-custom device at a much lower cost. All the pressure plate told them was the gross size of your foot. They have to guess at everything else. If you were to look at a flat-footed person standing first on the floor and then on one of these typical stamped out supports, you would notice no change to the patient's foot posture. The arch would be just as flat and therefore the foot would function the same with too much pronation. This is because a one-size-fits-all support cannot cradle your arch at the height and shape it needs to be. Without the best arch support for your foot, the arch will just collapse as usual. A collapsed arch causes the foot to function abnormally when the heel leaves the ground. The foot is too flexible and cannot work efficiently. This abnormal function creates stresses and strains to joints and connective tissue that ultimately cause some of the most common pains and deformities afflicting the foot, leg, and spine. Conditions such as plantar fasciitis, bunion, metatarsalgia, Morton's neuroma, arthritis of the great toe, knee and low back pain can all be traced to a collapsing arch of the foot. The new type of support design uses mass position as its goal of correction, using an insole that delivers full support to the arch. The foot is cast in this superior corrective position on the floor which captures the optimal amount of natural arch easily obtained by your foot. The support is made to this exact shape and the supportive shell is calibrated to customize the right amount of flexibility. This depends on a person's weight, foot flexibility, and activity level. The goal is to allow enough flex for functional pronation and comfort, yet enough stiffness to maintain arch height for normal function. Look at that same foot that collapsed with generic support now with its arch restored by custom arch support technology insoles, which are made according to mass theory and design. The arches are back, the heels look straight, and the knees are further apart, facing forwards. Recent research performed at Georgia State University and McMaster University has begun to confirm the superior biomechanical results predicted by mass theory, with more research currently underway. Custom Arch Support Technology, CAST for short, is the only over-the-counter arch support made according to mass theory and design principles. Since 1992, we have been able to retrain thousands of foot health specialists in this new technology since many care providers have been frustrated by the lack of results with traditional arch supports. In order to meet the challenge of this higher level of care, custom arch support technology has had to redefine what it means to create a truly custom device for each and every person. We call it custom to the fourth power because we deliver a custom solution to the four critical areas affected by foot orthotics. One, a custom posture correction for each foot to regain function. Two, a custom posture correction for each leg and the lower back. Three, a custom pressure distribution across the bottom of each foot to minimize hot spots and rubbing on the skin. Four, a custom calibrated amount of arch support that factors in body weight and activity levels. CAST certified specialists have been certified in this exciting new foot correction science and have the expertise to evaluate your feet to determine if custom arch support technology may be helpful for you. Take advantage of this new technology today and discover how wonderful it is to have feet that feel great and work right now and for the rest of your life.